In this session, we'll learn how to match the appearance of custom line types, fonts, and plot style tables between Civil 3D and the Autodesk Construction Cloud. On my screen, I have a sample cover sheet drawing. If I zoom in, you can see that the appearance of a few of these items is controlled by custom content that I have over and above what comes natively with Civil 3D. There are some custom line types, I'm using a custom font, I've also applied a custom plot style table to this layout. Just for a second, if I come down and right click on the layout name and choose Page Setup Manager and then click Modify, right here you can see the plot style table that I've assigned to this layout, and I've also chosen to display the plot styles on screen, which is why everything looks blue. Let's close up these dialog boxes. Now the reason my machine is able to display this custom content is because I've told Civil 3D where to find it. If I right click and choose Options, here on the Files tab, I'll expand Support File Search Path, and if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see where I've provided the paths on my local system where Civil 3D can access this custom content. Let's close up this dialog box. Historically, if I was to save a drawing like this to the Autodesk Construction Cloud and then view the drawing through the web browser, these custom items wouldn't display. As an example, I'm going to drag over a web browser, and you can see the drawing I'm currently working in is saved in an ACC project called Plank Road Reconstruction. If you'll indulge me, I'm going to jump back to Civil 3D and save this drawing. When I do, Desktop Connector pushes the drawing to the cloud, creating a new version. The drawing also goes through a secondary processing stage. This processing stage is what creates the viewable version that we see when the file is opened through the web browser. In many ways, the processing stage is a lot like plotting the drawing. When the processing is finished, I'll click to open the file. And when I do, notice that those custom items do not display. This is because when the file is processed, it is processed using a cloud computer, and that cloud computer isn't able to access custom content stored on a local system. So, to make this work, I'll need to ensure any of my custom content associated with plotting is available in the cloud. Now, I've already done that. If I select this other tab, you can see that I've created an ACC project called Company CAD Standards. This project has a simple directory structure. Generally speaking, I've got a folder called Support Files. And in that folder, I've created subfolders representing the custom content I use for plotting. If I open some of these up, you can see my custom fonts, symbology I use for line types, plot style tables, and so on. In case you're wondering, there is no magic associated with these folder names. You can name your folders anything you like. I should also mention that by calling this project Company CAD Standards, my intention is that all of my colleagues would be able to leverage this content as well. Please note that anyone needing to use these standards would have to be invited to this project and have download permission to the folders. Now that we know where the plottable CAD standards are stored, I'm going to click the tab to put the focus back on the Plank Road project, and we'll look at how we connect those CAD standards to this project. We'll do that using AutoCAD Web. I'll click to bring up another web browser, and we'll go to web.autocad.com. AutoCAD Web is essentially a version of AutoCAD that runs entirely in the cloud, and it's included with your Civil 3D subscription. Now, AutoCAD Web does a lot of things. For right now, we are just going to use it to connect my Plank Road project to the CAD standards. I'm going to start by clicking Add Storage Source. Essentially, I need to tell AutoCAD Web where my projects are stored in the cloud. I'll choose Autodesk Docs. It will then show me all the accounts and projects I have access to. Your list of items won't likely be this long. I have access to more accounts than I should. I'm going to drag down and find my personal account, and then inside that account, I'll click the toggles to select the Company CAD Standards project and the Plank Road project, and I'll click Done. These projects are now selectable within AutoCAD Web. Next, I'll click the More button next to the Plank Road project and choose Project Support Files. From here, I'll choose Setup Project, and I'll click Begin Setup. In this final dialog box, it tells us that setting up a project essentially means it's going to create a folder in our Docs project. I'll click Setup Project to complete the process, and I'll click Close Window. Then just for a moment, I'll drag this web browser down, and you can see that I have a new folder in my Plank Road project called Autodesk Support. At the risk of destroying the end of the movie, this is the folder that tells the Autodesk Construction Cloud where to find the standards used when processing files. Currently, this folder is empty. So I'll bring back the other web browser, and we'll add the search path that points to the company CAD standards project. I'll click Add New Location. 
I'll choose the company CAD standards project and inside project files, I'll use the toggle to select the support files folder and I'll click select. Note that I have the opportunity to select additional projects or folders containing standards, not needed in this case, so I'll come down and click done. Once again, I'll drag the web browser down to see the Plank Road project. Notice that a JSON file has been added to the Autodesk support folder. This JSON file represents the pointer to the company CAD standards project. At this point, the connection has been made. Let's go back to the CAD files folder where you can see I'm still in the sample drawing. From now on, whenever I or anyone else saves this file to the cloud, the viewable version will include that custom content. I'm going to jump back to Civil 3D and I'll save this drawing again. Now, when the file is processed, it will leverage the information in this support folder to find everything it needs. When finished, I'll click to open the file and verify it looks the same in the cloud as it does on the local machine. If you have another second, I'd like to show you one more benefit of using this technique, and it has to do with plotting sheet sets. I'm going to jump back to Civil 3D and close this drawing. Earlier today, I created a sheet set for this project. Just for a second, I'll bring up the Sheet Set Manager and click Open, and then I'll navigate to and open that sheet set. Currently, this sheet set has a single drawing that happens to be the same sample drawing we just looked at. Historically, Sheet Set Manager for Web required us to select a support file location to be used when plotting sheets to PDF. If you use AutoCAD Web to assign project support files, those support files are also used when plotting sheet sets, so you no longer need to worry about this setting. As you can see, this sheet set is currently set to default. I'm going to right-click on the sheet and choose Publish to PDF. I'll accept the defaults and click Publish. When finished, we'll jump back to the web browser, and I'll open up the Sheet Set folder and click to open the PDF. When I do, you can see the same support files we assigned in AutoCAD Web are applied when plotting sheet sets. So if you'd like better visual fidelity between your local Civil 3D environment and the Autodesk Construction Cloud, consider using AutoCAD Web to make the connection between your ACC projects and support files.